horsepower, 794 foot-pounds, and look at this, 6.6 .6 pounds of boost. That is right after we just did like a five minute full power vlog. This thing is bad. At six pounds, basically 850 horse. Eww. All right, what we're looking at here is a 427 twin turbo hot rod series that we've configured for a mid-engine car. We've uh, flipped the intake 180 and did a water to air intercooler. We've got some of our really nice stainless NRE headers going into tile 60, which we double slipped into a three and a half inch exhaust pipe. We've got some of course of our patented NRE mirror image turbo. And this is of course the counter rotator, my favorite one. We've done a wrinkle black finish on this sucker. horsepower, nine pounds of boost. That is very strong for something that you can drive across the country. Total whole hum street engine. It's really, I'm pumped on it. We ended up mounting two regulators. So there's your entire wiring hookup. Just one quick disconnect for all the injectors and sensors in the intake, the map sensor, etc. You can see it's all ray cammed, coming out of the back of the manifold, nicely hidden. We've done a twin regulator setup that goes boost reference into the manifold. At six pounds of boost, that's really what. I'm impressed with this 800 and basically 50 horsepower. That's badass. You could probably run the thing on piss and make 850 horse. You can see how much manifold vacuum. Fuel pressure is at 33, we set it at 43. Static. So it's, it's KPA is like uh, 40 KPA at idle. Do another quick run that's about it because this customer never really wants to go over 14 pounds Power, 1119 foot pounds. Look how long that torque curve is. 1006, 1100, 1100, 1091, 1000, even down at six. And it's at 14 pounds of boost on pump gas. On this motor, we're running all k and filters and oil filters. They're really working out well. I actually picked up 11 horsepower putting the filter on, which is a real surprise. 
or being that the filter is really not all that big. And secondly, usually you're gonna lose when you put a filter on, so it's a really good filter. It's a dry sump, Aviad tank, and we've modified the factory dry sump pan. We're using an Electromotive Tech 3, R WinTech 4, love those guys. And some really nice k and filters along with a really trick billet oil filter from k and which we can remove and inspect for any kind of uh, metal. So it's a reusable oil filter. We've done a bunch of tricks, stainless hard lines throughout. You can see how we bent them around and mounted them to the actual valve covers. And you gotta love that burnt stainless rainbow. And it can only mean one thing, HP. So take a look at some of our dinos and I hope you enjoy it. And it's a package that you can put into you know, all sorts of mid-engine pieces, and it sure runs good. <laughs>